Hi, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to uh, another session of live counter review using technical analysis. Uh, so sorry, last week I wasn't able to host. Uh, yeah. So uh, big, uh, this week uh, back again. So um, for today I'll be going through the economic calendar as you know. Uh, then after that the major indices and commodities. Then I'll, I'll follow by uh, some of the sectors like. The semicons, uh, US banks, uh, EVs, as well as the uh, Fang M. Yeah. So then I'll be I'll follow on by the individual counters that you all have raised in the chat box. Okay, so without further ado, let me begin. So for for this week, there's quite a lot of data that's going to be coming in. So uh tomorrow we have the conference board consumer confidence test at 10 p.m. Uh, together with the Joe Strong openings data. Then on Wednesday night, 8, 8, 15 p.m., we have the ADP non-farm uh, employment change that's going to be coming out as well as uh, GDP data that's, that's at uh, 8.30 p.m. Then uh, usual crop inventories data, 10.30 p.m. Uh, Thursday, we have the PC data that's going to be coming out at 8.30 p.m. Uh, with, coupled with the usual jobless claims, uh, yeah, then on Friday, we have uh, the non-farm payrolls, uh, unemployment data, unemployment rate data that's going to be coming out at 30 p.m. And also with the some of the uh, PMI data that's going to be coming out, that's at 9.45 as well as 10 p.m. Yeah, so a lot of data that's going to be coming out uh, this week. Okay, so uh, next I'll talk about Bitcoin. So... For now, Bitcoin, uh, nothing much, too much so is just consolidating in a range over here still. So for now, I think the support is still around between uh, 24.7K to about 25.5K over here. Yeah. Then uh, resistance-wise could be around 267 to about 274 k this zone over here. And so for Bitcoin, nothing much still probably in a range. Uh, next one, but... Uh, I'll talk about Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, uh, last week, it was mostly in a range over here. Uh, then we retested this, uh, this trend line support over here as well. This was at around 34.1K over here. So over here, I expect some support uh, coming in. Then, uh, but if we do break, if we do break this uh, level, then that will be quite bearish. Then we could test some lower support levels like uh, 33.6k this level over here. Yeah, but for now, probably we just gonna move in a bit of a range over here. Uh, short term resistance wise could be around 30, 34.6k this level over here, which was our prior resistance. Then uh, now it's just holding as a resistance over here as well. Then the, the resistance higher will be around 35k, which was this level we broke over here as well as this uh, uptrend channel uh, over here that we broke down of. Okay, then next one, uh, I'll talk about NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, um, last week we bounced off after hitting uh, support around 13.2K level. So over here, it was a previous resistance back in August last year. And now uh, we just bounced off. And then uh, also for now, uh, also managed to clear this level around 13 point, uh, close to 13.6K level over here. And uh, currently the resistance is around uh, around 13.7 to about 13.9k region over here, which was this uh, level over here. So for now, uh, I think Nasdaq is still uh, bearish, but it's a little bit of a range pattern over here. You can see uh, like there's uh, may should find some support and resistance over here for now. So I think for, for this week, you could see a little bit of a range, continued range trading still for, for Nasdaq. Then moving on to S&P, uh, similar. S&P also last week uh, bounced off from the support around close to 4330 over here, but resistance is around 4440 at this level. We also have this uh, short-term downtrend resistance line acting on it still, as well as this prior, prior resistance, then uh, that's as, acted as support where it broke down, then became retest, became a resistance over here. So for S&P, likely to still move in a bit of a range over here as well. Yeah. 
the next one is Go. So Go, uh, for now, after testing the, the swing low around 1890, uh, currently finding support uh, still in a bit of a range over here. La. But uh, we are still currently under this uh, trend line support over here. So that will be the short term resistance around 1930 to about 1955. Then support wise for now is around 1890 over here. If you do break this level, then next support level could be around uh, 1860 level for gold. Okay, the next one is uh, oil. Okay, for oil, I think currently uh, it's pulling back a little uh, still after we broke down of this uptrend support line over here then uh, for now the support the support at 77 to 79 is still holding uh, which was this this level over here we broke out of as well as this key support level is still holding then resistance wise is still possibly from this downtrend resistance line at 80.5 to towards the, this horizontal level around 82 yeah so for oil if you do see resistance from this downtrend resistance line we still we see price uh, maybe just uh trade this box over here. If uh if not, if it's able to overcome over here, then the resistance could you just probably could test this resistance around A2 over here. Okay, next one is uh the VIX. So VIX, I think currently is a bit of a still in, in the range over here. Uh trying, but some higher lows have been formed over here. Uh, while the highs remain the same. So current resistance around 17 to about 18 over here. Uh, then for now, support is around 14.5. There's some support over here to about uh, 16 over here. Yeah. And last but not least, uh, copper. Yeah, copper uh, still finding support from this uh, trend line, trend line support over here as well as this swing low around uh, 3.7, so rebounding still. Then uh, resistance is from about 3.85 onwards to about 3.95 over here. So that's for copper. Okay, so I think I'll start talking about the, the various sectors. So I'll start off with uh, the FAMs. Okay, first one, uh, I'll talk about, start with the uh, metal. So metal currently, um, Price uh, found currently finding support around the $276 level, which was like a prior, prior previous resistance, then turned into support. And then currently we, we tested like two times over here with price found support. So I will expect a little bit of a bounce uh, from here to test the uh, resistance again, which is closer to about closer to about uh, $298. That will be the current resistance uh, over here uh, for metal. Then if you manage to curve uh go higher up, then the next resistance level we could possibly test again is 305 to about 309 over here. For now, uh could be a retest of this $298 uh resistance this week. Then we could see a little bit of a range uh range uh formation over here first for for metal. Okay, then next one uh, for Apple. Uh, Apple currently after uh, finding support 172, then uh, price managed to stand above this $175 level over here, which was like a prior resistance back, back then, as well as this, uh, this $177 level that we put down off over here. So currently the support is around 175 to about 177 over here. Uh, resistance still remains around hundred and eighty dollars, hundred eighty one over here. So, uh, that we still finding some resistance over here. Price could just uh move a little bit of a range over here, unless we get above hundred eighty one. The next level, we could try to try to uh test again. Will be probably be hundred eighty five, closer to hundred eighty five over here for for Apple. If not, just just going sideways over here for now. Yeah. Okay, then next one, uh, uh, sorry, Amazon. Then uh, currently Amazon, uh, we tested this uh, support level around 130, 131 about twice. Currently price is still finding support over here. 
And this level happens to be this uh, trend line support over here as well. So over here, this, this trend line support. So I'll, I'll say that for now, uh, likely to price likely to bounce up from this level, try and test this uh, short term resistance at 136, 137 over here. Because this uh, recent uh, high level as well as this uh, support that we've been broken down. And so over here, could see a little bit of a range trading over here again. To see whether we be able to overcome this resistance and try to go back up to 140 over here again. Okay, then next one, uh, Netflix. So Netflix uh, managed to managed to stand above this uh, 410 level again. So it was this uh, this neckline support over here, price broke, broke down it uh, for a while, then uh, managed to recover back up. And currently testing uh, the next, the resistance level is around $430 over here, which was this uh, support range over here that was being broken down. So currently, uh, support is still around 410. So I'll expect a range between 410 to 430. Price you just, could just uh, hover around here for, for this week, for the time being. Yeah. Okay, the next one, uh, Google. So for Google, the chart wise a bit similar to Amazon. Uh, price uh, also we uh tested a uh, single support at uh 127 over here, which was this this horizontal level of support still finding support. Also, this was a prior resistance level over here. Uh, coupled with this, it was is this uh up main uptrend channel support over here as well at 127. So. Uh, looks like price finding good support over here could uh, um, could try to test some the higher resistance levels again, like uh, which is this recent highs around 133 over here again. Then uh, let's say if let's say we have a bullish candle over here, um, that would be quite good as well. Potential breakout of this uh, this uh, bullish flag over here. So that could be a possible uh, signal for trend continuation uh, for, to move upwards for, for Google. Okay, then next, last but not least will be Microsoft. Okay, so Microsoft, uh, after testing this 311, 312 level, which was this, which was a risk, uh, a swing low level, as well as uh, uh, previous uh, uh, support as well as resistance support resistance over here, uh, rebounded. Then we tested the uh, current resistance, which is closer to two hundred thirty dollars, which was this, uh, support over here that we broke out of. Then on Thursday, you see the resistance coming in at this level. So for Microsoft, uh, I would think that maybe price could just uh, sideways in a bit of uh, this range over here between two hundred twelve to about two hundred twenty eight uh, over here just sideways for a while to build some sort of a base. Yeah. Then uh, near term resistance would be 330 to about uh, $340 over here for Microsoft. So in general for the FANG amps, I think that for now we could see a little bit of a range trading still uh, as over past few weeks, the uh, price has been downtrend and uh, starting to slowly stabilize again as uh, it's finding some it's just trading between the near term support and resistance uh, for, for the Fang M stocks. Okay, then I'll talk about uh, I'll talk about the, the, the banking sector. So I'll start off with the XLF uh, TF. So for this CDF, um, let's see how, how it is done. Uh, price we trace back to test this uh this uh this trend line over here. So currently I will expect some support at this level, which is around 33.7 over here, given that this was like a prior uh, resistance level over here. So it is just a retest. Yeah. So I, I will expect some sort of a bounce over here to try and test as the, the near term resistance, which is around 34.3 to about 34.7 over here. Yeah. And uh 
look, I'll look at the big four, big four banks. So first one is uh, JP Morgan. Okay, JP Morgan currently uh, price still pulling back and sideways for now. Uh, currently finding some support at around $145, which was a prior resistance over here, which it broke out of last time. So at this level, there could be some support. The next support level, if it continues to pull back, could be around $142, which was this strong uh, resistance back then. And it will act as a strong support over here again if it does test, test it again now. Uh, then over here, we have this uh, trend line support over here as well. If it does test this $142 level, that would be a very good uh, support. For now, $145 over here will be still is a quite a good support since it was also a previous resistance. Uh, so for JP Morgan, could we trace a little bit more to try and test this support or over here? Uh, it could just stay along over here. Uh, then near term resistance wise will be this around $150 to $152 would be a near term resistance for, for JP Morgan. Okay, then I talk about uh, Citigroup. Citigroup uh, recently uh, broke down of the consolidation triangle, then price just pulled back all the way to test the first level of support, which was this swing. You can see there was a, previously there was two swing lows over here from around uh, 41.5 over here. So currently, price may just sideways over here for since there's some support in the past over here. Yeah. Then uh, if price continues to trend lower, the next support level will be closer to about $38, $38 uh, over, over here. Yeah. Then near-term resistance for CD group will probably be closer to close to $43 over here since it was the recent supports. Yeah, it broke down off over here. Yeah, so these are still bearish, but for now may just trade a little bit of a sideways since it's near at the is at the support zone for now. Okay, then uh I'll talk about Bank of America. So Bank of America also pulled back. Uh currently just uh it's at around 28.50. So uh near term supports could be around at, and near term support could be closer to $28, which we have this uh, trend line support over here, as well as uh, these swing lows over here, which was back in June of this year. So quite close for some possible support for, for Bank of America over here. And near term resistance could be around uh, Closer to thirty dollars, which was this uh this swing highs over here. It could act as a short term resistance, then followed by closer to thirty one dollars, which was this level we broke down off, uh over here with this uptrend channel. Okay, then uh, last but not least, I'll talk about Wells Fargo. So, uh, Wells Fargo. Currently, it's still trending down in this downtrend channel, this downtrend over here. Um, then uh, testing one level of uh, support, which is around uh, 41.80 over here, prior resistance. Next level of support will be around at, uh, closer to $40 over here. So yeah, so something to take off. Um, then near-term resistance will be around closer to $43 over here. Yeah, so that's for where else? Okay, then uh, let's talk about Bank of America. So Bank of America index. So for socks wise, I think we are quite possibly quite near a uh, support, which is near the 3,400 level over here. Uh, recently, looks like price is quite, uh, there's some bounce over here around 3,420, which is also this swing low level over here. So uh, coupled with that, the uh, channel over here is quite close. So I will expect some support over here for the semicon, semicon index to, to solve bounce. 
Uh, then near term resistance wise will probably be uh, closer to 3,600 over here, which was this level we broke out of. Recently, you can see there's resistance over here. So for now, probably just, we just uh, sideways for, for now, uh, for the songs. Okay, then I'll talk about uh, the semicon names. I'll start with NVIDIA. Okay, NVIDIA, uh, for now, there's still some resistance above $480 over here. So uh, there was a retest and after the result, there was a gap up and price subsequently sold back under, under this level. Uh, then currently, the support is around 455 is still holding at this level over here. And this is also this, uh, this trend line uh, trend line resistance breakout over here now. So it's still holding over here as a current support. Uh, if this level doesn't hold, then uh, the, next, the next support level to take note of will probably be around uh, at closer to $440, which is this, which was this uh, prior resistance levels over here, support over here. Yeah. Then take away as a support over here as well. And also with this, uh, this trend line support over here as well for NVIDIA. Yeah, but so for now, could we just see maybe price just, if 455 holds, we could see maybe price just range a bit, I think 455 to 480 still then, just chop around over here for now to see the next uh, possible direction. Okay, then uh, talk about uh, TSM. For TSM, uh, current price last week rebounded from this uh, blue color uh, trend, trend channel support over here, closer to about $89 to $90. Rebounded then um, also went, back, went to test $95, which is a resistance from this, um, from this uh, black color trend, trend channel support previously, which was broken down. Uh. So, over here previously, there was also like uh, a bunch of uh, supports over here from about 95 to about $97, a strong support now acting as a resistance. So yeah, these are, this will be the current resistance zone. So price will likely find resistance uh, coming back down and support I think likely still holding at $90 over here. So we'll see a little bit of a range movement over here like, as price maybe just consolidates over here from this recent downwards movement and starting to turn into a bit more uh, sideways range point over here for TSM. Okay, then uh, next one, talk about AMD. Okay, for AMD currently, uh, uh, there was the there was breakdown of the $108, $107, $108 support over here. And uh, current the resistance from this uh down uh, this uh downtrend channel over here, and currently support is closer is around hundred and two dollars over here, which was which is this um this uh uptrend channel support over here. So over here price is still holding. Uh, could see a little bit of a, a bounce. Sorry. Then price just trade between hundred and two to about hundred eight dollars over here possibly to see whether uh, the the what's the next uh, range to trade in. Yeah, so if price if price is unable to hold at hundred and two, the next support level to look at would be probably at ninety four to ninety five dollars, which was this, which was the prior uh swing low support over here as well as a uh, previously was a support over here as well for AMD. While the yeah, so the next one will be Marvel. Okay, so Marvel uh looks like a breakdown took place of the fifty seven dollars support level over here. So, um, with the yeah, with the earnings, it went back 
went down to around fifty three dollars. So at this level, it's another uh, support level over here in the past. We have swing low over here, and so temporarily there's a, a support level over here. The next strong support level, if it if it does retrace more, then will be around I think will be around forty nine dollars, closer to forty nine to fifty dollars over here. Since it was a previously strong uh, resistance level here, then price could, once it tests, if it tests this level, then it will become a very strong support uh, in future. Yeah, but for now, the strong resistance will be around 57, $56, $57 over here, which was this level that was being broken down. So for now, looking a little bit very since it was break down of this uh, huge issue range over here for Marvel or something thing. Okay, then I'll talk about uh, Micron. So Micron, I think uh, I think much is price trading down and sideways over here still. Uh, for now, support is still around $62 over here. The next support level, if it goes a little bit lower, will be a retest of this $60, $60 swing low over here. Then currently, resistance-wise, I think, Resistance wise could be around at uh, 64 to about $66 over here. There could be some resistance at these levels. Yeah. Okay, then next one is uh, Broadcom. So Broadcom, uh, it's uh, recovered back from hitting the support 820 and price also cleared uh, 850 level over here, which was this. Uh, this uh, support level as well as this uh, horizontal level of resistance. Then our uh, price went back to test this uh, this range support that we broke down off at 880 cents. There was some resistance coming back in. Then went back to test 850 again. So over here, I would think that uh, as long as if 850 this level can hold, it will likely just trade in the range between this 850 to about 880 so over here. Uh, if it doesn't hold, then we likely go back and test 820 again. Uh, so it's a bit very range open over here, I think, for, for Broadcom for the time being. Yeah. And then the last semi coin I think I talk about is uh, Intel. Okay, Intel, I think, still uh, trending downwards currently. Once broke this $34 uh, support, it currently I think as a resistance upon the retest. So there will be the near term resistance. And for now, near term supports will be close to this swing low, which is $32, as well as this, uh, as well as around $31 over here. There will be some support over here. So likely to see price trade in a range between $31, 32 to about $34 over here la, for the time being. Okay, then I'll talk about uh, some of the EVs, the, the last sector I'll talk about before the individual counters. So, okay, I'll start out with Tesla. Okay, Tesla uh, last week rebounded back from this 213 level over here, which was a prior resistance over here rebounded. And we went back to test uh, the current resistance, which is uh, $240 this this prior uh, swing low support over here as well as uh, this support over here. So currently, I think as resistance price just sideways over here for now, between uh, about 230 to 240. So, okay, if price is able to get above this 240 level, uh, likely the next current resistance could be pay, could be around 248, which is this uh, trend line resistance over here. Then uh, around 200, yeah, at this level, 240, 200, close to 250, we, there was a prior uh, resistance level over here to take note of as well. Yeah, and then the next resistance up will be around 255 over here. Yeah. So for Tesla, could be just, uh, it's still in the downtrend, but uh, could be just a retest of some prior resistance level if it continues to bounce a little bit over here.
Okay, then for explain, explain retested these prior resistance levels around fifteen dollars. Okay, then we have a bounce. Um, could see it test some of the resistance level, which is around uh eighteen thirty over here, which we broke down previously, and the next level will be around twenty closer to about twenty dollars over here. There's also some resistance level. Yeah, based on the uh previous uh support levels in the past. Uh, so these are the two immediate levels to take note of for for explain. Okay, then for new okay, new currently uh, I think uh is resting at some support around the 1060 level since it was this um a swing low over here as well as a prior resistance level. So currently could see some sort of bounce to to test some short term resistance, which is possibly around uh at twelve dollars over here to about twelve uh twelve thirty over here. Yeah. Okay, then uh, there's a Rivian. Rivian price wise is still is still below this uh, level, which is around twenty one fifty over here. So I think for now the next support level that I could test is possibly at uh, around uh nineteen dollars over here. That previous there was some resistance back then, so the, over here there could be uh, uh some support coming in. Then whether we see we can do a bit of range over here, yeah. Okay, I see a question. Will we be able to do a comparison of two charts of Tesla and BYD together to get a few of their direction? Please. Okay, let me just do a comparison. Uh, okay. So, Okay, so for Tesla, it's you can see uh starting is it's starting to rebound to retest some of the prior uh some of the re the resistance levels currently. Then for BYD, it's uh still yeah a bit similar like in the sense that uh after testing the some supports at around two hundred eighteen over here there was a rebound, then um testing some short term resistance is around two hundred thirties over here so. Both could be just forming a bit of a range over here still. We will see with the comparisons, but yeah, the similar thing is also that both currently is in, still in the downtrends. Given that uh, there was BYD, there was a breakdown of this uh, main uptrend channel, and there's price just came down over here, and then currently just uh in a bit of a sideways. Then uh, Tesla you also look at. A break of the key support levels previously and just price just trending out and just possibly just rebounding back a little bit and sideways as well. So this uh comparison of these two probably it helps. Yeah. Okay, so now I think I will go through the questions that you have raised in the chat by chronological order. Okay, so first one is I'll talk about C limited. Okay, C after the results just came came down and it's currently just uh is around thirty six dollars now. So at this level, um, there could be some support between thirty two to about thirty four possibly. Given that I think last time there was a there was an unfilled gap, uh, over here at this level. So previously. Uh, this would this would be some possible support level if it goes on to fill the fill this gap for now. Yeah, but for now, yeah, still still quite bearish like, over here. Still, I need there's no sign of a uh, no sign of a proper uh, reversal taking place yet. Still. 
Yeah, so at this level, we see whether at this zone, there's some support coming in, whether price sort of test, find some support and do a rebound, then there will be some, there could be some short-term rebound for C. Let's see how it goes. Okay, then next one is uh, SoFi. Okay, so far, I think currently uh there's it's currently near the support level, which was this prior uh these two swing lows is closer to about eight dollars over here. Then price actually tested over here, then uh, just sideways over here. So I think over here the support can hold there could be some rebound that could be coming for so far. Um the near term resistance could be around uh, at eight eighties to about nine forty over here which was this uh, support level previously as well as this uh, recent horizontal level that broke down off over here, that will become the, that will turn into a resistance. Yeah, so for so far, I'm expecting if the support over here is still holding, then we could see a little bit of rebound and you see some sideways uh, as you test some of the near-term resistance levels. Okay, then there's a question on uh, Lululemon by Melvin. Okay, for Lululemon, uh, currently, okay, I think there's a, there was a break of this uh, uptrend support line over here. Okay, then uh, price also just, price also broke. Uh, also broke uh, the higher low formation at around 370s over here then uh, with this bearish candle over here. So currently uh, it's holding up around the, at the 360s level over here, this swing low. Then uh, if, it, if the downtrend continues, then the next support level will be around closer to these swing lows around 350s over here. Yeah, there's also, I think earnings coming out this week to take note of. Yeah, then if you look at the, the bigger picture wise, I think uh, a good support will probably be around a uh, retest of this um this main uh trend line support over here. So that could possibly be around 340s, possibly over here, if it comes down to this level. Okay, then next one is uh, especially on 90. Okay, for Nike, I think currently uh, still quite bearish. Um, there was a breakdown of this uh, consolidation triangle over here uh, last, last week. Then price just came down. Uh, currently, I think uh, it's, at, it's at this, le this, uh, this level at around 99. Yeah, so that over here, there could be some short term short term uh, support over here. But if it continues the downtrend, then uh, could program to possibly test the 92 level next, which was like a prior uh, resistance level and a turn into then there was a there was a subsume low support over here as well for a key horizontal level. So for Nike it's still quite bearish uh, for the time being. And then next, uh, General Electric. General Electric, I think for now, it's still very sideways over here. So over here, the uptrend is still holding up pretty well since that you can see prior, the prior resistance at 111 over here is still acting as a good support level over here. Then yeah, it just price just sideways over here. Current resistance about 113 to 115. So I think that will continue uh, for the time being still. Okay, then next one, the uh, service now. Okay, service now currently, I think price just sideways over here after breaking down of this uptrend channel support. Uh, short term support wise, I think still holding at this uh this support levels at around 528 to about 535. This zone over here is still holding up. Then uh, resistance is coming above the 560s over here to about 570s. So I think we could see a little bit of a just 
uh, range trading continues still for, for service time and time being. Okay, then Northrop, Northrop uh, Grumman. So for this uh, price, the okay, price just range, then uh, it's trending down a little bit, but the spots over here at around 420, 420s are still holding at this level over here. So still holding up in the big, the big range over here. So, Currently, there's resistance from around 4.8. This uh, resist this uh, prior support level over here. So we'll probably just sideways in the range over here for, for now. Okay, then general dynamics. Okay, general dynamics, I think still trending okay. After the breakout, this downtrend resistance line price, uh, carrying on the breakout, then just holding up in the range for now. So uh, resistance is from this prior support. It was being broken down over here at 220s. Yeah, then also there's also, there's also possible resistance around 230 as well. So it was a previous range, uh, same high level over here. Uh, then current support will be from around 218 to about 220 over here still. So I expect some continued range at these levels. Okay, then Lockheed Martin also very range for now. Um, yeah, support is still holding at around 446. Over here, then uh, resistance is at Resistance currently is around uh, 458, which was this, this level as well as prior uh, bring support level over here, then followed by the next resistance upwards will be around 446 now, if we break, manage to break up over here. And yeah, so still very range over here, but over here. Okay, next one I'll talk about MasterCard. Okay, MasterCard also currently just looks like a retest of this 404 level over here. Yeah. So for now, it's in a bit of a range. So let's see whether it's able to break out of this uh, range, this resistance level at 404, 405, and go, go to higher highs. Yeah. Over here, still, still training cases. Uh, currently, it's above this 129. 397 this uh, level here as well recently. So there's a chance for, for possible breakout to we'll continue the this recent uh this midterm uptrend over here. Okay, and then for Visa, Visa currently I think still range trading over here. Uh but still still bullish in the midterm because uh it's still above this 230s uh, previous resistance now, I think it's support. Uh, then currently the resistance is around 243 is over here. So over here still sideways in the range. Uh, you see whether when a breakout could possibly occur, then a price could trade higher. Uh, yeah. The next resistance level upwards could be around at $248 uh, previous, uh, next previous swing high back in 2021. Okay, next on the American Express. The okay, American Express currently, I think, a little bit very so. There's a uh, after there was a breakdown of this key support around. 165 then price trending downwards for now. Um the test of the test of the uh, next level at 158 was a range of support back then. 
the next support level will be around 154 if it continues to, to trend downwards. 154 being the is a is resistance level that we're as a support for now. Okay, then I'll talk about Coinbase next. Okay, Coinbase for now uh, tested uh, $72 spot over here, which is uh, which is uh previous uh this previous resistance level over here. Yeah. So over here, see whether if price is able to hold, then there could be some bounce to just trade in range over here for now. And then short term resistance could be around at uh about $79. That could be some near term resistance. Then the next resistance up, the next resistance hours could be around $85. That will be the next resistance level. Okay, Pool Corporation currently, I think, uh, is still in the range over here. Uh, the prior resistance over here, 350, is still holding up as a support. So, yeah, price, I think, would still continue in the, looks like it's continuing in the range for, for now. Short term resistance could be around at uh, 367 over here. There could be some resistance in the short term over here at this level. Okay, then next one, the uh, ST order. Okay, so for ST order currently, uh, very short uh, breakdown of this uh, this downtrend channel over here. Then price currently just sideways around hundred fifty dollars. Okay, then test of the prior. Uh, support level over here. So over here, the price could just there could be some support over here. Then price just sideways over here for now. The next support level, could, if if doesn't hold right, it would be around 140, 141 uh, over here, 141 to 140, 143. Okay, then next one, uh, flowers.com. Okay, flowers currently uh, in a real range, but uh, there was a recent breakdown of this support level around 7.5. So uh, this will become, uh, this 7.5 will become the short-term resistance over here for now. Then um, the next support level downwards will be around close to, close to about 6.8, uh, 6.8 to about 6.8. Point nine. That will be the next uh, support level, given the prior resistance back in October of last year. Okay. Then the next one, the uh, Melco Resorts. Okay, Melco price. Uh, Trending downwards after the break of this uptrend channel, then uh, recently tested uh swing low support around 10.5. I think over here there could be some support. Yeah, so uh this if there's some support, there could be a rebound to try and test uh, do you test the recent resistance, which is around 11.5 over here? That would be the recent resistance. Then could see a little bit of a range, uh range bound trade over here. Okay, then next one, the uh, three deal. Okay, three deal currently, I think, uh, still bearish over here. We see lower lows being formed uh, than lower highs. And uh, recently price tested 
support is like closer to $56 over here, these two lows as well as given that it was a previous uh, resistance over here. Yeah, then I think currently could be forming this, this uh, wedge, this wedging uh, formation. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Maybe price just uh, continue to retreat in the range over here, then see whether there's a possible uh, move upwards uh, to, to break out this uh, wedge formation in the future. Can I talk about uh, PayPal? Okay, PayPal currently, I think um, there's some support coming in this, at this level upon the $59 retest. Uh, and currently, there, will, there should be some resistance at a short term retest of this uh, support that was being broken down at, at 63. Uh. So, that will be the, this will be the short term resistance level. So, I'll expect PayPal to maybe just uh, sideways over here. For now, to see, yeah, to a little bit. Okay, the next one, the uh, Disney. Okay, Disney, uh, quite bearish. Uh. So, uh, the breakout over the breakout over here didn't hold, then price uh, retreated back into the wedge. Then, uh, this sub the next, another thing is this support level at eighty five. Uh, didn't hold uh, there was uh, this bearish candle coming in. So all the, yeah, so it's quite bearish uh, for now. And uh, currently we are testing, currently we are at $83. So, okay, the next support level, right, uh, could be, this is based on, this is based on the COVID lows really. Uh, the next support could be around 81 around 81 plus over here, that could be the next support level back then, yeah. So for now, Disney is quite very rich now, since uh, the sub key support level didn't manage to hold. Okay, the next one, uh, end phase. Okay, and phase or still bearish as well. Um, price just still trending downwards. Uh, the next support level also broke below this swing low around uh, 128. So uh, could possibly price could possibly go and test the next support levels, which is around uh, 114 to about 118 over here. That would be the next. Uh, supports for phase uh, over here. Okay, then GE Healthcare. Okay, GE Healthcare currently trending downwards. Uh, price could we'll find some support from the retest of this um, $67 level over here. Previously, it was a range uh, support. So currently, price uh, we tested recently if it's able to um pull at this level, that could be a short term double bottom. Then uh, could see a little bit of a rebound to test a near term resistance, which is around uh seventy one dollars over here. That would be a near term resistance uh, for GEHC. Okay, then next one uh, RTX. RTX, I think uh, nothing much is uh, just holding up in the range over here. So the support over here, 84, is still holding the resistance around 87. So they are just uh, about a $3 range for now. So we see whether if, if it breaks out, the range will be a breakdown below this spot or a breakout above the resistance. Then the next level is possibly for that will probably be, if it breaks out above 87, the next level could be around 90. 91, then uh, if it breaks below the 84 support, the next support level could be closer to 81 over here. Okay, next one, uh, C3AI. 
Okay, C3 currently uh, still quite still quite bearish. Uh, it's still below this 3170 uh, previous uh, strong support over here. So over here, support, support, then support. Then uh, there was a breakdown. Then we test turn into resistance and currently price revisiting the, the current support is around $28. So yeah, $28 currently, which was, it was a prior resistance. So that could act as a short-term support if it holds. If it doesn't, then it likely go and search for the next support, which is could be at 20, around the $23 or $24 level, which is like a previous resistance back here. And then also possibly this, um, this uptrend channel uh, support over here as well. Yeah. So if it holds at this level at 28, then maybe price just chop in a bit of a range with the resistance to at $32. Uh, but if it doesn't hold, then likely could go and search for the next support at 23 to 24 for C3 AI. Okay, so I Okay, for SMCI, a uh, super microcomputer, uh, I think currently uh, could be a little bit of a range over here. Um, the sub currently the support is around between uh, 217 to about 237, this, this range over here. Then the resistance up is about 280 to about 298 over here. So, yeah, likely to just if it the if the recent lows at uh two three five is holding, then it likely to just chop in the range over here a bit for now. Yeah, for SMCI. Okay, next one, uh Linda PLC, uh L I N. And for this, I think it's uh, still trading uh, pretty well in an uptrend over here. So I think price, currently the support will be around 375 over here. Uh, resistance for now will probably be around 380, 386 this level. Uh, so still in, a, still in an uptrend over here uh, for Linda PLC. Okay, for next one, uh, Exxon Mobil. Okay, Exxon Mobil currently, I think um, it's trying to possibly is trying to possibly overcome this hundred seven dollars resistance, uh, this prior range resistance over here. Price trying to trade higher and then backtest to find some support. So if this this uh could be a possible bullish uh, sign, uh, if price is able to hold at these higher lows over here, which was a prior resistance, then uh continue to trade higher to it is to test this 111 again then uh form a higher high then that could be a 
short term bullish, short term more bullish development over here la, to trade in the in the higher range over here. Uh, but short term wise, there's still some resistance between uh, around hundred and twelve over here. This prior support. Yeah, so I think it will be still be slow. Uh, possibly just uh, still probably be stuck in a higher range. Possibly with this prior resistance acting still. Yeah, for XOR to view. Okay, then ADP, uh, automatic data processing. Okay, I think um current looks like a bit of a range still uh, still possibly consolidated range uh short term resistance at two five five was a prior support level broken down uh yeah and currently it's a swing high over here as well then support wise I think currently closer to about two four five which was this resistance that was being overcome and now turned into support so I think for ADP currently. We we'll see a little bit of a more of a consolidation unless we see a breakout. Uh, then could go ahead. There's a chance to go on and visit uh two hundred sixty six uh the to about two hundred seventy the uh, to retest the recent uh resistance levels. Yeah, but if not for now, we'll be just range still. Okay, then uh, there's a question on uh in mode. Okay, in mode limited, uh, let's see. Uh. Okay, that looks like uh currently just currently is a re possible retest of a uh, prior resistance level. So previously it looks like 37, 38 dollars here was a strong resistance that was a breakout. Then currently it looks like a back test over here. So I think uh for now in looking at the midterm wise, I think it's still bullish. Um if the price is able to hold at this level and Subsequently recover, then there will be a positive retest over here. Mm. Then short term resistance wise, probably be at around uh, SR resistance over here around forty one to uh, forty two dollars uh, for in mode. Yeah. Uh, so let's see whether price is able to hold at least. Uh, $37, dollars for rebound, then uh, that would be a good sign up. Okay, can you uh, discuss BABA and Tencent? Okay, so let me uh, find the charts. Okay, for BABA, okay, BABA, I think uh, price, it's possibly just trading in this, uh, this uh, wedge over here, price uh, after there's some resistance at 98 over here onwards, then the uh, price retrace back to about 89 over here, then uh, looks like there's some support over here again. So yeah, I think price will still be stuck in this, uh, this wedge over here last still, unless there's a breakdown of the recent lows at 87 or a break above the, break above uh, the recent highs at 102 over here. Then for 10 cents. Okay, then 10 cents. This one looking at the Hong Kong one. Um yeah, price uh still underneath this uptrend support line, it was being broken down. And um yeah, just a bit looks like a bit sideways over here still. Uh support still at 320. Then I think resistance will come in around 335. Over here, that oh, 330 to 335, that could be some resistance. Yeah, so it looks like a bit of a range still for over here. Okay, 
Okay, then the next one, Gilead Sciences. Gilead Sciences, okay, still resisted by this uh, main downtrend channel over here. Uh, price just also resistance from uh, this $80 swing high over here. Then uh, price finding support near the swing lows around 74 to about 75. Yeah, so I think for now still uh, very much in the range of support here still. Mm, so that's my take on Gillette Sciences. Still maybe just chopping around in this, uh, this range over here. Okay, next one, uh, Snowflake. Okay, for now, Snowflake. Okay, Snowflake, uh, there's a, there's a break below this, uh, the main uptrend channel over here is the support. Uh, and then price went to retest a uh, swing low over here, 144. Currently looks like it's supported. And just, uh, yeah, just hang, just, at this sideways over here for now. So for, for it to be bullish, it must, it must try to break back above this, uh, this uptrend channel as well as uh, this possible, this, uh, this downtrend, uh, downtrend channel pullback over here, then that will be more bullish. Try and retest uh, 160 to about 166 as a near-term resistances. Yeah. So this for Snowflake, for now, probably just maybe just sideways trading unless it, un, until we uh can overcome to to try and test 160 or 166 over here. Okay, next one the uh, ASML. Okay, AMS, ASML, I think uh, midterm wise uh, could be just a bit, just uh, still trading in a bit of a range. Um, the previous, the breakout of around 695 over here, it held in the range, then, but then the uh, price just uh, didn't hold. It went, went down. Then, um, uh, so with that, possibly could test some lower support levels uh, if it continues to trade lower. For now, uh, it's at around uh, 644 uh, level over here. Uh, so if price falls at this level, could just sideways between 644 to about 67, uh, 675 over here, possibly, which is the near term resist. There's this uh, near term resistance at this level over here. Yeah, but if it doesn't hold this level, then possibly it could go down and test. Uh, the next support levels which is about five eight seven to about six hundred and five over here. And so this for this for ASML. Okay, next one is uh Mercado Libre. So Mercado Libre currently. So there was a pullback from this uh one three six. It level then uh, price currently uh, broke below this uh, short term support now acting as resistance at 1270 1280 so currently uh, support is at closer to about 117 180 so over here I think if this support is a holding then could just consolidate in a bit of a range over here yeah but if it doesn't hold then it will be a continuation of the, the recent downward move uh, and then could see some lower has the lower supports around the 1090 this level over here. Okay, uh, there's a question if there's a, any playback for this webinar. Yeah, so uh, this webinar, this uh, session is being recorded. Then uh, afterwards, I'll, I'll post a link in the, there's a the Philip Capital YouTube, so you can view it there uh, when it's up. And I'll post uh, a link in the poems telegram group as well as well as the poems tree uh, community yeah so you can feel free to view in your own uh, free time later this week okay so let me see some other questions 
Yeah, there's a question on Lee Otto. Okay, Lee Otto, I think currently um price is price didn't manage to pull this uh $40.80 cents level over here with this uh resistance breakout, then uh yeah, price currently underneath it. So for now, short term. Is at this uh, short term uh, support, which is around thirty eight dollars, this level which we broke out of, and currently just holding it right here. If it doesn't hold, then the next support level will be around thirty six over here, which is this swing lows over here. And so for Leo, to probably just sideways in a trade, yeah, in a bit of a range over here for now still. The next one, the uh, MSS MNST. Okay, monster beverage. Okay, so for monster beverage, let's see here. And monster baby, I think it probably just uh just trading in this uh a bit of a downtrend channel over here. The short term resistance is around fifty eight dollars, fifty eight to about fifty nine dollars. Then support currently is at around fifty seven. If it's able to, if it's able to hold, then it's just probably just trading range over here between fifty seven to about uh fifty eight, fifty nine. Uh, if it doesn't then likely go and test the uh, uh, near the recent supports at 55 for, for some support. Yeah, so that's for monster. Okay, then uh, next question that will be it will be monday.com. Okay, for monday.com, let's see. Okay, monday.com, I think price probably just uh, sideways for now. Yeah, I can see uh, probably a range going on now. Uh, price still, there's, there's a still holding a support at 159 over here. Then uh, the, the lower support is around 148 over here, 148 to 151. Yeah, so near term resistance wise is around 176, 185. Mm. So yeah, very much still in a range over here for Monday.com. Okay, then there's a question on Palantir. Okay, for penalty, I think uh currently it's quite it, it was a retest of this uh close to this you know 1350s over here. So there's some support coming in, then uh price rebounded, tested the the this this swing high resistance, the current resistance which is around 1570. So I think for Palantir, uh if this support is is able to go at 13 plus, uh it will still maybe just trade in the range for now, still. Yeah, then the next resistance upwards, if it breaks out from 15.70 over here, will be a retest of this $17 uh, resistance over here for, yeah, for Palantir. If, yeah, then uh, if the support over here at 13.60 cannot hold, right, then will be a retest of the next support at around uh, 11.70, yeah, possibly. Okay, so I think in view of time, I'll go through one last question, uh, which is uh, T2 biosystems. Okay, so for T2, I think currently, uh, yeah, for now, it's meeting some resistance about uh, 60. 
62 cents, 63 cents uh, retest recently. Then uh, for now, short term, could be some, there could be some short term support around 35 cents over here, which was this level that we broke out of over here. Yeah, so you see whether you're able to pull uh, yeah, for, for this T2. Mm. Yeah, if it's able to hold, then it will be still okay since that it will be a lower high formation, sorry, a higher low formation over here with a retest of this prior resistance. And price could probably just uh, try to bounce a little bit to test the, the, the levels at around 50 cents or 60 cents over here. Yeah. I think uh, that's all for today. Uh, in a few of time, sorry, I'm unable to answer all the questions. Can feel free to post your questions in the uh, podium telegram chat for the T podium three uh the TA community. Yeah, so feel free to post your questions over there. Uh, let me just share my share the survey link and chat box. Sorry, I uh, can't post the link. Let me try to get some help. Okay, yeah. Uh, my yeah, my colleague has helped to post the link in the chat. So, uh, yeah, feel free to fill up the survey form. Uh, to leave any comments about today's session or feedback and how to improve, how you can improve uh, your experience in future uh, sessions. Yeah, so yeah, that's all for today. Um, thank you everyone. Uh, have a good uh, trading week ahead. Uh, stay safe and uh, yeah, just take note of uh, there's quite a lot of comment data that's coming in still and a bit of results yeah, for those companies if you're interested. Yeah, so also do join uh, our Telegram group on P3 community if you haven't. So I'll be posting some, some of my posts over there. You can just uh, leave any uh, questions you have over there, then I'll answer uh, during the week itself. So uh, yeah, take care everyone. Uh, see you again uh, next session. Bye-bye.